Good morning, good morning, everyone. So first of all, I want to say a couple of things. I have got Lyme disease. I look so happy about it, don't I? <laughs> well, I'm not happy. But I got it on a couple days when it was warm, uh, a couple weeks days ago. And uh, believe it or not, since I've had skin cancer, I always look myself to make sure <laughs> I don't have any new skin cancer showing or whatever. Well, I found a tick on me. I didn't really think nothing of it until the bullseye came out. I'll, I'll send a picture here, or put a picture here so you can see what it looks like. Now I'm gonna try to do this video with a lot of stabilization. I'm gonna give me a gimbal here soon and uh, my camera. And uh, I'm gonna try to not be out of breath because I'm going uphill the whole time. So as you can probably see the mountain behind me. So today's video is gonna be about uh, guns, actually. I'm not gonna really show any guns, but I'm gonna tell you about them. So here's the deal, okay? I uh, saw in the news where Virginia has passed the law to be able to carry guns in church which is excellent now some people may think that's terrible but you know the recent things that happened in Texas is a uh, is a bad deal guys you you got to admit that I mean you know, all those sitting ducks you know and it just it's really sad <laughs> so Virginia finally has passed a law where you can carry a gun Or they're working on it where you can carry a gun in church now it used to be you could carry a gun in church if you felt the law read i believe if you felt the need to carry one for your safety and i believe that you should talk it over with the pre uh, preacher too and the, you know the church but uh now that's what i read from the law okay so you need to before you do anything before any channel you watch and you listen to and you read make sure you go to the website of whatever state you're in and you look at the laws don't take my word for anything don't take anybody's word for anything you need to make sure that you understand the laws and if you don't understand them you need to call uh your sheriff's department or state police because they are they are extremely willing to help believe me at least in virginia there i don't know about anywhere else but so i'm sure they'd rather you be uh, with the law than not with the law. So anyway, that's that guys. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you a little, a little something here real quick and then uh, I'm gonna end this vlog. I'm trying to keep this pretty short. So, you know, I have a daughter, a cerebral palsy and she's in a wheelchair. And you know, to me, carrying a firearm or a weapon is very important. My wife agrees 100% and you know, here's, here's our deal. You know, if we're pushing our daughter in a wheelchair and let's say some would-be thieves are watching us you know and they see everybody else out there you know in la la land walking around you know and then they see us pushing a wheelchair around they're gonna say that family right there are targets because you know first of all they're gonna be more uh watching their child and being you know cautious of what the child is doing versus you know their surroundings well that's the opposite for us i can tell you that right now but most people are like that so that's why we like to carry you know a firearm or mace or whatever so it's important to us and we don't go to church a lot but when we do it's nice to know now we can protect not only ourselves but the church if need be so i'm just saying guys it's a good it's a good thing i'm gonna post the link to the uh uh the news article i read and uh anyway we'll go from there guys so that's my that's my positive video for the day guys because i'm so happy that finally virginia is on board with that guys so all right guys so that's my video for the day my vlog if you like what you see here guys like and subscribe god bless and we will see you on the next one guys have a great day